Hello everybody! Welcome to the 6th performance review video where I look at Adobe Draw, an app available on the Android. I will mainly focus on how Chuai handles the app in terms of speed and also how the Hypen H1 copes. The start screen on app in general is almost identical to Adobe Sketch. You can switch between my projects and community drawings on the home screen. There are some amazing artwork in there. The main menu has the about link, preferences, tutorials, feedback and a link for more apps. I'm going to quickly show the tutorials page. Adobe Draw has shortcut gestures for undo and redo as well as area refill and last tab shows on how to send to Illustrator CC. Not really much for tutorials but better than nothing. Here's the preferences where you can switch the drawing interface from left to right. And this is the About Draw page which outlines any new updates and features as well as links to terms of use, privacy policy and third party notice. There's also the option to toggle sending usage reports. I often find features like this can cause sudden lags in apps and software, especially on Windows, so I'm going to switch it off in case it does cause lags for Adobe Draw. Moving on to the projects page, the big orange circle is for creating a new project. The app creates 5 drawings for each new project created. You can add more drawings to a project or go into the edit project page to delete drawings from within the project as well as rearrange and duplicate drawings. More projects can be created, deleted, duplicated and renamed. The project can be shared to Adobe Draw, I think they show up on the community drawings once shared this way but I'm not entirely sure as I've never tried it. Anyway, let's start a drawing and have a look at the interface. Starting with the layers palette, clicking on a layer shows the options available. The layers can be renamed here. The eye icon toggles hiding and unhiding the layer. Then we have a sliding bar to adjust the opacity. The last three options on the layers are Transform, Duplicate and Delete. The plus icon above the layers is for creating a new layer. Through the image layer, an image can be imported through four different ways, while Draw Layer option simply creates a blank layer. Along the top is the Undo button. Pressing and holding reveals the redo button. This button is inconveniently placed and I tried to use the gestures shown in the tutorial page to undo without any luck. It kept thinking I was drawing with my finger or moving the canvas around. Eventually I decided to download Adobe Draw on my Umi Super, an Android phone. The undo and redo gestures worked almost flawlessly on my phone. On to the next tool, this is the Shapes palette. It's a feature I love in both Adobe Sketch and Draw. It allows the user to load a shape then resize and rotate before drawing around it. Kind of like using a stencil. You can draw around the whole shape or choose to draw around part of it, particularly useful for curves and stuff. Next icon along is for hiding and unhiding the layer palette. The up arrow icon is the export tool where the user can publish to Behance, save to Creative Cloud, send direct to Illustrator and Photoshop, save to Device Gallery or share. The settings icon has shape snapping which I'm not sure what it's for, but the grids option definitely caught my attention. Here I could add a graph type grid overlay or a perspective grid overlay. The size of grid can be adjusted in graph mode and in perspective mode the density of the grid could be adjusted as well as dragging around the canvas to change angle of perspective. Throughout the whole video you'll notice I struggle to move the canvas around as well as zooming in and out. I've tested a fair few apps on the Try High 12 and I would say Adobe Draw is the worst when it comes to using gestures. There's also a noticeable lag throughout, it seems like Try High 12 really struggles with Adobe Draw. You can rotate the canvas by 90%, there is no gesture for this so you have to go into the settings tab and do this. The last icon along the top is for hiding the interface icons to expand drawing area. Let's talk about the brushes. Adobe Draw is for vector drawing so each stroke is a vector line. 
It could be that Chua High 12 lags because of this reason. The processing power for vector lines isn't there. Or maybe it's because my Chua High 12 is on Android 5.1 and Adobe Draw's latest version doesn't work well on Android 5.1. You'll notice the lag when I draw slowly, not to mention how wobbly the line is. I believe 50% of the wobble is from the lagging causing the line to jump in places. The brush size can be adjusted by pressing and moving up and down. In the colour palette there is a basic colour wheel. The theme tab has kind of like a preset colour chart. The community themes has a lot more to offer. There are some additional settings available for the brushes, unlike Adobe Sketch. Through this little icon, I noticed the pressure settings were greyed out and a short notice to say, works with stylus only. So it seems to be that Adobe Draw isn't able to recognise the fact that I am using a pressure sensitive stylus. Other than that, I am able to adjust the roundness, angle, taper and velocity to get quite a different variety of strokes. I'm quickly going to make a few strokes with the five brushes available on Adobe Draw, just so you can see the differences between them. The last brush on the palette is the eraser. Before I go into the drawing, I wanted to show you how the area fill feature works. There's no fill bucket or anything, but pressing down on an area to be filled for about two seconds will fill the area using the colour of a brush. You just need to make sure the area being filled has no gaps in the outline. Okay, so I thought I'd make the most of using the perspective grid and the ruler from the shapes tool to draw this kawaii milk carton. I started out with sketching in grey and soon noticed some random dots around the sketch. I don't know if this app is supposed to have palm rejection, but if it is, it sure isn't working. Even though there was a touch of lag, I still enjoyed drawing on Adobe Draw. Maybe it was because the perspective grid that I was using which made me enjoy the app. Colouring in was easy, I love the area fill feature. Yes it was very basic and flat looking since there wasn't any way of blending, but you've got to remember it's a vector app and you can't really blend colours in vector anyway. After adding blush and highlights I was done with the milk carton. I saved to Creative Cloud so I could pick it up on my MacBook Pro. In the projects page, it looked like a cute pixel art. In conclusion, Adobe Draw lags throughout and doesn't recognise the Chuai High Pen H1, therefore offering no pressure sensitivity in the brushes. However, it's still a usable app on the Chuai High 12. It will produce vector images and has some lovely features such as the grid overlays and shape stencils. These features make me want to love it, but the lag weighs it down heavily. That's all I really have to say about the performance of Adobe Draw on High 12. I hope it's been useful to someone out there. If you're new to this channel, I do have more videos like this, just check out my channel playlist for them. And until next time, bye!